everybody and welcome back to my channel. I haven't really been posting that much recently. I just haven't had the time or the motivation to film videos or like the passion to film videos. I don't know why. I've just kind of declined a little bit. I'm not sure. I used to love filming videos. This has always been a hobby for me, but I'm going to try and post more. And today I'm going to be showing you a few things that I picked up from HomeSense. The range, I think it was and Primark. So there's a few different shops worth of autumn things and this is the first year where I've actually gone out and purchased some things for autumn because usually like I wouldn't even think to buy like pumpkin ornaments. But this year I was ready. I'm in my new place. I've been here for like two months and I'm ready to just make it my own and just I don't know like it just brings me joy to have things like little pumpkin ornaments in my house so why not? Before we start though, something I'm going to mention, which I've been meaning to mention for a while, is go and follow my friend Emma and Sam's YouTube, TikTok, Instagram. They basically are currently traveling around the world at the minute. They have been to various different places already and they are documenting it on Instagram and on YouTube and also TikTok as well. A couple of their videos have gone viral, but I just wanted to mention, go and watch their YouTube videos in particular. I have been watching all of them and it, I'm not a travelly person. Like I'm not somebody that just like wants to go and travel because I, I don't know where I'd start. Like, I just don't know where I'd start. Like, I, I can't even go to the shop by myself. So, yeah, we won't go into that. But go and follow them. I will leave a link in the description. Whoever edits the videos, I'm assuming it's Sam that edits the videos, is so good at editing. And the amount of effort that is put into each video is just amazing. And it's so nice that they've done this because I didn't know that they were going to make YouTube videos before they went on the trip. And the fact that they're going to be gone for like such a long time, like literally a year. Like, I'm so glad that they make these videos because then I can actually see what they get up to and what they do. I feel like I never ask Emma, like, what are you doing? Or like, what have you done today or whatever? Because I actually just watch the videos. And sometimes I do comment and stuff like that. But yeah, just go and give them a watch because the amount of effort that is put into these videos is amazing. And yeah. They're just really nice people as well. So I will leave a link in the description um, to their YouTube and their Instagram as well. I don't know if I can link TikTok, but I will, yeah, I probably won't be able to link TikTok, but I will leave their like username on the screen or something. Um, but yeah, so I just thought to mention that. But aside from that, let's get into the haul. So the first thing that I thought to mention is this little pumpkin guy back here. Um, he's gonna be chilling there, but I'll just show you him up close. So this I picked up from Home Sense. I knew the place, but I couldn't think of the name. And basically this you pop tea lights into. It did actually come with about eight tea lights and they are vanilla scented. And I just think this is so nice. At night time, when you pop a candle in this, it lights up and it looks really cool in the dark. You can just see his face. And yeah, I really like this one. I'm so glad that I picked him up. And he was £6.99. So he's gonna live here for the time being for this video. I did get um, another few things from the uh, from HomeSense. I keep saying the range, um, from HomeSense as well. For example, this which is kind of similar. So this is like a orangey pumpkin. And I thought this was a tea light holder as well, but it's not. It actually got incense thingies in it, like a scented bag of something. And it smells like very autumn vibed, like cinnamony and I don't know, like whatever this smell is. It does kind of remind me of like going into an old house I don't know why, um, but anyway, this was £5.99 and I really like this because this really like just, this just screams autumn, like this is orange, it's a pumpkin and it smells like autumn, so this is like the perfect one to get and this was £5.99 and I do actually keep this in my kitchen. Also from Home Sense, I got this pumpkin and this is very similar to the one I've just shown you. This is a grey one though and again it houses, well it doesn't house but it contains um, like a scented bag and 
I think it's the same scent as the other pumpkin, but this is in my bedroom. It's not like a standard kind of pumpkin color, but I think it, it goes really nicely in my bedroom. And I really like how this looks. And this was £5.99 as well. <laughs> Sorry, I nearly dropped him. Another pumpkin, I'll just show all the pumpkins in one go. So this pumpkin is from Primark and basically this was the first one I picked up of the year. I've never bought a ceramic pumpkin before and this is the first one that I got a couple of months ago and I hid it away in my cupboard ready for now. This was the, I think this, blah, blah, blah. This I think was three pounds and it was from Primark. Very like well worth the money. I've seen a lot of YouTubers with this pumpkin. So obviously it's the kind of thing that they, you know, that everyone gravitates towards. I like the color and it sits in my living room and it looks really nice and I like it. I will film a day in the life soon where I will show where I've placed all of these items, but I just, yeah, I like this one. If you want just one pumpkin from this video and you like saving money, this is only three pounds, I would get it. Also from Primark, they have these. So this is six pounds and it's like a white pumpkin. Well, obviously you can see, but I like the size of this one. It's the biggest pumpkin, like ceramic pumpkin that I've got. And it sits usually near my fireplace, but I thought I would bring it over here just to show you in the video. But yeah, I just really like this. It's very plain, but it looks nice, kind of contrasted against the black stove that I have. And yeah, it just looks so nice. All of these things that I bought, I'm gonna keep next year, the year after the year after that. And each year I can add like a couple of pumpkins to my collection or a couple of autumn themed items. But this year I didn't have anything for autumn. So I just kind of went out and just got loads. So that's why I have a lot of stuff. You might think I'm crazy or that people are crazy when they go out and buy ceramic pumpkins for autumn, but it just makes me feel happy. I just enjoy it. Like what, I don't know what it is. I just really like it. And it just makes me feel happy to wake up to my home with all these things in it. So another pumpkin from Primark. So this is such a cute little pumpkin. I love this. Now this sits in my bathroom. It goes with the rest of my bathroom really nicely. It's a small white pumpkin with like a golden stalk. That's right. Um, and I believe this was like three pounds or something like that. So again, really good value for money. And it just looks so nice in my bathroom. Like it just goes with everything really nicely. And I like it. So yeah, I like the fact that all the pumpkins I've got are all different in some way, like different colors, different shapes. And you know, some of them have tea lights in them. Some of them are scented, that kind of thing. So didn't want to get like the same stuff, even though they are all still pumpkins. Oh, actually one more pumpkin. That was the final pumpkin. That was the final pumpkin, but I do have one more kind of pumpkin thing. So I purchased this off Amazon. This is a pumpkin mug. Now I have wanted a pumpkin mug since last year and I couldn't find one last year and I didn't want to go on Amazon and spend however much money I spent on this mug, but I thought, you know what, this year I am gonna do that. Um, so I think this was like 13 pounds, which usually like no way on this earth would I spend that amount of money on a mug. I know to some people that's probably not that much, but to me it is. And I just thought, do you know what, George, you're gonna keep this every single year. You're gonna get this out every single year. It's gonna be stashed away you know, when autumn is over and you'll be excited to get it out the next year. I have a Christmas mug where I bought it a few years ago and every year I get excited to get it out. So I want that with this mug. So yeah, it's so nice. It has a little lid on it. So you can actually like put soup in this or something. Like it is small for a bowl, but I don't tend to eat that much soup anyway, whenever I do. So I think that would be quite cute. And it's little lid and it did come with a spoon as well. So here's the little spoon and just look how cute that is. Um, I will again film a day in the life and I will show you this in action. Um, but yeah, it's just so like, it's just so cute. So yeah, I did get that from Amazon. So if you are looking for a pumpkin mug and you haven't been able to find one in any shops, which is what happened with me, then um, just go on Amazon. Next day, Amazon Prime. We've done the pumpkins. Now we've got like randomy bits and bobs. So I did get this. This is a pumpkin spice latte, um, like reed diffuser type thing. And this was from the range. I love how when you walk into my house, this is what you smell first. 
it's just like one of those like nice cozy homely scents and also because this is such like a commonly used and like smelt scents in October it just reminds me of like the cozier months and that time of year whenever I smell this it's like oh it's like going to be Christmas in a few months so I just like having this and yeah it doesn't go down really quickly some reed diffusers like literally just like the liquid just drains straight into the air and it just runs out within like a week but this has lasted a good few weeks already and it's barely even gone down any so I like that I got this mirror I got this from Primark. It was only a few pounds. It was, oh, it was eight pounds. But to me, I think this is 100% worth it. This is a really nice mirror to start off with. It's golden and it's got a white base. It matches my bathroom perfectly. Like I could not have a mirror that matches my bathroom any better. But to be fair, this would match any bathroom because it's white, but it, it does go well in my bathroom. The mirror I had before was blue and it just, I don't know, there's something about this one where I just think it just looks so nice. So I did buy this and I'm very glad that I did because I like it, it's a nice mirror. Um, you can kind of see yourself, hello. Then from the range, I also got this. So this is not autumn themed. This is very much kind of everyday, like just standard things you'd have in your house. When autumn is over, I am not going to get rid of this. This, well, I won't get rid of anything, but I'm not gonna pack it away for next year. This will stay out. I really love this. It's very neutral toned. It matches with everything in my house. And I really like how it looks and just the colors and everything like that. And I don't know how much this was, but I believe it was only like four pounds from the range. And I just think this is really nice. It sits in the window where you are currently sitting right now and i really like it um so this to me was a winner because this is something i'm going to keep out for a very long time this i believe was only two or three pounds from the range and this is a hundred percent worth the money so this kind of thing is so cool to me like i love plants this is fake but I still love plants like I just love anything even if it's fake I still love the look of it and it's like its own little it's in its own little cage and you hang it up I actually hang this up in the wall in this room you won't be able to see it and um, like where it usually gets hung up because it's kind of around the corner a little bit but I just think it looks so cute and I like things like this I just think it adds to a room really nicely again I will show this in a vlog coming soon maybe next week and yeah it just it's just nice this is just my cup of tea 100 percent. another kind of autumn themed thing i bought and i'm trying not to get bits everywhere oh there's a barley seed um underneath it if you didn't already know part of my job is working with barley so well i say part of my job my entire job is working with barley um so that's why there's always seeds everywhere if anyone ever comes around to my house um but i got this mat which was only four pounds from the range i thought that was pretty darn decent and this just sits like next to my front door so when people walk in this is the first thing that you will see and i really like this i was gonna get a di i wasn't even gonna get an autumn themed mat i just wanted just any kind of door mat and i saw this and this was the cheapest one there and i was like damn i'm getting that so maybe at christmas i'll have to find a christmas themed mat but i'm happy with this one i would be more than happy to keep this out all year round um it looks really nice so i like that okay the last couple of things so this is so random but so adorable i got this baby yoda um hot water bottle so there is a hot water bottle inside here i haven't used that i haven't used this this year yet because i haven't needed to but i soon will like i've been feeling the cold already and we're not even into autumn yet like i think autumn does officially start soon but yeah i have been cold already so this is going to come in handy and i just thought this was so adorable look how cute he is i i don't know why i'm a baby yoda fan i think it's because he looks so adorable but i've never really watched like is this from star wars someone please tell me is baby yoda from star wars because if he isn't that's how much I know like who he is. Like I'm pretty sure he is. But yeah, he's just 
so cute. I think I just came across extremely dumb there, so I do apologize. And if you're a massive Star Wars fan or wherever Baby Yoda comes from, I do apologize. The final thing that I bought is so cozy. So this actually came from Dunelm um, in Lincoln. That's where me and my mum were shopping when we did this shopping trip. This is a hoodie blanket. So it's absolutely massive. It's got a nice big hood and it is gigantic. It's got a big pocket as well. And yeah, it's just so long. Again, in my next vlog, I will show you me wearing this because it's so cozy. Like I will pop this on and I will sleep in this. And when I'm on the sofa watching TV, I think, oh, I'll go and grab a blanket. And I'm like, actually, I don't need a blanket because I've got this. I literally feel like this is a, just a full on blanket and then I'll put my arms into the pocket and it's just so cozy. Um, it, I think it was like 18 pounds or something, fully worth the money. This is something that I wear every single evening. When I have to wash it, it's so sad though because I have like a day or two where I can't wear it. So that is a shame, but it's so soft and I like the fact that it is, um, what is this print called? Camouflage, camo? Oh, I don't know. But anyway, it's it's just so nice and I like it. And yeah, it's not, it's a different color. Usually I will go for blacks, whites, um, cream colored things, but I got for something different. There was a black one there and I decided, do you know what Georgie, be different. So here we are. Now I'm pretty sure that is everything that I picked up from my little shopping trip with my mum in terms of autumn stuff. If I have missed anything I will show it in my next video, whatever that may be, well my next vlog. Um, but yeah that's everything. My favourite things that I purchased, to be honest I'm not going to pick a favourite because I actually love everything so much and I'm really happy with everything but I hope you enjoyed this haul give it a thumbs up if you did and please subscribe because I'm going to try and be more consistent with posting and actually put effort in again because I just need to like I just need to um because it was my hobby and I used to really love it so I need to you know get back in with my hobbies again but yeah thanks for watching I will see you in my next video let me know if you have purchased any autumn things or if you have got any of the things that I've got I feel like you potentially might have this considering the amount of people that I've seen owning this but yeah let me know so I'll see you in the next one bye